One of the scariest and most feared weapons of the Second World War has to be the use of fire or flame. Throughout history it's been used in different ways, and when you think of a flamethrower, you're instantly taken back to the scenes of soldiers landing on beaches, torturing bunkers with the USM-2 flamethrower. However, arguably the most feared British weapon of the Second World War paired a barbaric and brutal flamethrower with one of its most reliable and best tanks. We know so much about how the Allies feared the German tanks of the Second World War such as the Tiger, however the Churchill Crocodile was truly one of the most feared weapons of the Second World War. If you saw this British flamethrower tank and you were faced with its incredibly savage weapon, then it would certainly strike horror into your soul. Today we take a brief look at the Churchill Crocodile, the most feared British tank of the Second World War. Remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Different experiments had taken place with mounting flamethrowing weapons onto British vehicles, one example being the Wasp, a flamethrower being mounted to a universal carrier that interestingly my own grandfather drove. In fact, it wasn't just experimental weapons that were being tested. Hobart's Funnies were a series of specialist armoured fighting vehicles that derived from tanks and were used for different purposes. These different tanks would perform extremely different but vital roles when it came to overcoming problems during the invasion of Normandy and would be used to better effect than vehicles were during the ill-fated Dieppe raid. One example of these vehicles is the Sherman Crab, which was a Sherman that had mine flail equipment mounted to the front, with this tank being able to clear mines on a beach whilst landing. The majority of these vehicles used Churchill's or Sherman tanks as their base, showing the versatility of both of these vehicles. The Churchill Crocodile however would be one of Hobart's funnies, which would instigate a huge amount of terror in the enemy. The first attempt at turning a Churchill into a flamethrowing tank came in 1942 with the Churchill Oak. Three prototype vehicles would be made of this, and they were in fact part of the first wave at Dieppe. Following this, the Churchill Crocodile went into development using the chassis of the Mark 7 A22F or the earlier Mark IV. The tanks kept their standard weaponry including the main gun, with the only major difference from the original vehicles being of course the addition of the flamethrowing equipment. It would have a crew of five, a driver, a bow gunner, a gunner, a commander and a loader, and weighed approximately 40 tonnes, plus its 6.5 tonne trailer behind. Speeds were still relatively slow, being around 15 miles per hour, however they could cross terrain similar to the Churchill. The conversion kit for the flamethrower consisted of the trailer for fuel, an armoured pipe fitted along the underside of the tank, and the projector which replaced a hull mounted Besser machine gun. There would be 800 of these kits produced with 250 of them being held in reserve in case of operations following Europe involving attacking the Japanese. The Crocodile's 6.5 ton armoured trailer would carry 400 gallons of fuel, enough for 8 to 1 second bursts. It would be connected to the tank by a freeway armoured coupling and could be jettisoned from within the tank if a fire broke out. The trailer could resist small arms fire but could be penetrated by heavier weapons and if this happened then there would be an almighty blaze. The crocodile's crews would need to use their tanks to shield the trailer in a way to help protect it and over large distances lorries could even tow the trailers to minimise any risk. Extremely effective assault weapon whose threat could instantly induce the enemy soldiers to surrender or execute captured Churchill crocodile crews. Because of how specialised the equipment was on board if the vehicle was disabled or broke down, then the British would destroy them by any means, even by air to try to identify a crocodile quickly in order to concentrate anti-tank fire on it, but it was an incredibly intimidating and scary weapon. They would even be used after the conflict, during the Korean War, and a number of them still survive today. So although many people regard famous German tanks such as the Tiger as the most fearsome weapon of war deployed during the Second World War, the Churchill Crocodile was something else. It was a psychological beast of a weapon that would strike terror into the hearts of the enemy and would force many into surrendering instantly, albeit whilst possibly covered in fuel. The sheer sight of a crocodile rolling towards the bunker you would be camped in would be horrendous and would lead to you questioning everything that you are fighting for. It's fair to say that the crocodile certainly had lots of bite, with its vicious flamethrower and today it goes down in history as one of the most brutal military vehicles ever deployed on a battlefield. Once again thanks for watching, to support our channel please make sure to subscribe, once again thanks for watching.